Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty well here, thank you for asking. Um, today's video is just a little bit about maybe some motivation. Uh, yeah, pretty much simple to the, to the point, kind of some motivation. Um, I was just looking back at uh, a ride I did back in, oh... January, February, March, about March of 2017. Now that was only just uh, like 13 months, something like that, uh, after I even started riding bikes uh, back in February of 2016. Uh, what makes January, February, March, what makes about March? Uh, kind of special it is the first ride that I did of 100 miles uh, I rode from my house in Paris Tennessee down to Parsons Tennessee and uh, one way that's 50 miles and then back 50 miles that was that was my first real test um, from whenever I started riding bikes. Uh, that was the hardest test I've ever done. It, uh, I was, I wasn't even sure that I was gonna make it really literally five miles whenever I left. Um, I still wasn't real sure and, uh, and I was literally ready to turn around like right as we left my house. But I remember leaving, it was me and a, a lady, and she is, at the time, <coughs> at the time she was roughly about 64, and I'm just now fixing to turn 48 in November, so there's a little bit of difference there. Of course, that didn't matter, she was, she was more of a seasoned cyclist than I am, and uh, she had a proper road bike, more of a proper I was on my Trek 7.3 FX, um, which it, it did fine, but I believe her experience and uh, maybe her bike, you know, might have helped out a little bit. So uh, she was leaving me <laughs> up hills and stuff, and so. But I'm just looking back and I'm thinking the motivation that it took. Now I'm just going to speak on my part, not so much hers. Uh, because at that point, I think she'd done uh, century rides, you know, maybe one or two other times. Uh, I don't remember what she told me. It's been a while, so. But for me, and I'm just looking here, but <coughs> to stay motivated that whole way, boy, it was rough. I remember it, and it took us, it took us a long time. It, it was a long trip. We left early in the morning and got back. Uh, just as it was nighttime, pretty much. Um, and and in between here in Parsons, it's big hill after big hill after big hill, and it's those kind of hills that go on and on and on. And you're seeing traffic go by, and they end up looking like little dots <laughs> as they go over and away. And just thinking of those hills. Every hill that I came up to, I was just like, oh my god, another hill, another hill. And uh, I look at that now and I think, you know, I'm really proud of myself. Of course, I, I was proud of myself then, but even looking back now, it was really quite the accomplishment, in my opinion, heading out and uh, doing those type of miles when I've never done anything like that before. And uh, it only being a year that I've been riding, and I'd only had that bicycle for December, January, February, uh, March. So right at just over three months, right at not even, it was just over three months. I got it on my birthday in uh, November 2016. So it was just, you know, three months or so that I'd had that bike. No work done on it. I didn't do anything to it. 
I bought it used, of course, and I was the third owner, and it had a lot of miles on it before me. I didn't, I wasn't thinking hardly none of that stuff at all. But anyway, uh, I remember I took, I bought a backpack. I took a backpack and had some stuff in it, and and I uh, we didn't take too much in the lines of food and drinks and all that because there's stores along the way. Um, Dollar General, Walmart, convenience stores, restaurants and stuff. You know, there's some of that along the way. So we didn't really stock up on a lot of stuff. But I brought my backpack anyway and had a few little bars and stuff in there. And I had some drinks. So, anyway, I just want everyone to know that uh, I am still going... 2016, 17, 18, 19, it's almost four years, going on four years for, before long, uh, that I've been going, and, uh, it takes a lot of motivation, a lot of dedication, uh, and there are, there's been plenty of days that I didn't want to ride, and there's going to be plenty of days you don't want to ride. Or whatever it is that you might be doing for your exercise or what have you. From going to the gym or walking, jogging, hiking, cycling. All that good stuff. Uh, I'm persistent and I'm consistent. And that's one thing that I'm proud of myself for. But I've been really persistent and consistent with my cycling since I began. And some months are better than others. And a matter of fact, this month, uh, July, I haven't pushed nearly as hard as I did in June. In June, I had a goal, and my goal was to ride 30 days consecutively. And some of the, a couple of those days, I even did a couple of different rides during the day. Um, so, but anyway, I'm doing I'm doing really well for this year so far. A lot better than what I did all of 2018. So. Um, matter of fact, right now I'm pretty much uh, at the same mileage right now halfway through the year of 2019 that I was the entire year of 2018. So I'm doing a lot better this year. I'm proud. And it just takes a buttload of dedication, of being hard-headed. Do not let your mind overcome what you need to do. Um... When you come in and you're tired and you want to go sit down, you don't do it. What you do is you just walk over, you grab your helmet, you start putting it on, and the whole time you're saying, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And you're putting your gloves on. Man, I want to go lay down. God, I want to go sit down. And you're still putting them on. You're getting your shoes on. You're getting yourself ready. And you're getting your bike out. And the whole time you're saying, I'm not wanting to go. I don't want to do it. But you do it. You got to do it. And I've, I've left this house countless times just having to make myself physically mentally make myself leave the house and go for a ride and you might not think that that's good well you should you shouldn't fight yourself like that you should go and and just n not stress so much about it well if you miss this day then you're gonna miss another day and then you're gonna miss a week and then you're gonna miss a month and it's just like anything else that you do, whether it's walking or jogging, hiking, cycling, boating, skipping, jumping, whatever it is that you're going to do. If you let yourself start missing, eventually you're going to not go and do anything at all. So you have to push yourself every time. When it's needed, every time. If it's sprinkling outside or whatever the case may be go. If it's 900 degrees outside, go. If it's freezing and your snot's freezing all over your face, you go. You get home from dinner and you waited that late to go, you get on your bike and you go. Whatever it is, you just do it. And as soon as you get out just a couple of miles, a few miles or whatever, your mind and everything starts changing. If your attitude starts changing, and before you know it, you're good because you're out there. 
there's no turning back you're already out there so if you do turn back you're still getting in your miles eventually so you have to stick with it no matter what you're doing and make the best of it make yourself proud make yourself happy every day you should be doing these things because there's more to life than working coming home and sitting here now I'm a school bus driver I only work a couple hours a day and uh, most of my time is sitting when I'm at home I'm sitting when I'm on the bus I'm sitting even when I'm riding my bike I'm sitting but it's the exercise that I get you got to get some exercise you got to get that blood pumping you got to keep them arteries flowing as clean as you can I have a bad diet so you got to get out there you got to pump that blood through and push everything through and take control anyways guys stick to it be happy treat yourself right do something every day that makes you happy riding a bike hiking jogging walking canoeing fishing putting a puzzle together playing a video game plant a garden do a deep clean a cleaning on the house do something that's going to get your mind going get your body going get your thoughts processing and 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 keep yourself going that's the key everyone i hope you enjoy the video i do them all for free check out my channel all kind of videos uh, no monetization no ads that i'm aware of i do it for myself i do it for my family I do it for you viewers and I appreciate everything so don't forget get up get out get ready and do it to it no matter what it is that you're doing we'll see y'all later thanks for watching